Hello everyone, and welcome to the first video in a four-part series of Getting Started with Profound AI. In this video, we will cover how to download and install Profound AI. The first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and navigate to profoundlogic.com slash AI. When you get to this page, what you want to do is look for the Download Now button. In this case, it's currently here. And I'm just going to go ahead and click that, and that's going to trigger the download for the installer. Once the installer is done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and click it to run the executable. And in my case, because I already had it installed, it just went ahead and opened it. So in this video, we're going to show you how to install Profound AI on an IBM I system. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit the Install New Instance. For the product, I want to go ahead and select Profound AI. We do want to go ahead and run the latest version. For install to, this is where it's going to differ depending on what type of installation you're doing. If you want to install on your local PC, you can do that just by selecting local system. In this case, we're going to be installing on an IBM I, so I'm going to select the remote system option. And then it's going to ask for your host. your username, and your password. And then it's going to ask you which directory you want to install in. This is an IFS directory. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and install it on the root, and I'm going to call it PAI2. You also want to let it know what port it uses for SSH. On IBM I, typically the port is 22. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Next button. Once it validates your credentials, you should get to the screen here. I'm going to scroll up to the top and make sure we have all the right options. So for the server port, I'm going to go ahead and leave that at 8081. And the server port just indicates which port your Profound AI instance is going to be listening on the IBM I. So you want to select a port that's not in use. For the install IBM I connector option, you want to leave it as yes. And let's change the IBM I connector library to the same name as the instance. In our case, it's going to be PAI2. For the IBM I connector library I asked, I'm going to leave it star sysbase in my instance, but if you are using a different I asked, you can go ahead and change that option here. And then we get to the option of control instance with strtcpsvr and ntcpsvr. I'm going to leave that as yes. For the server instance name, we want to give this the same name that we named our directory. In our case, it's going to be PAI2. I'm going to leave the CSID as 37. Obviously, if you use a different CSID, if you're in a different country, you have the option to change that there. For the Node.js version, it's actually going to pull in the available versions on your system. In this case, we have 16, 18, and 20. You'll, you're going to want to select the, the latest version available to you. So in, in my case, I'm going to select version 20. And then finally, it's asking if we want to auto start the server instance. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and then click the install button. So it's actually going to go through a series of steps here uh, as it's installing the Profound AI packages. Once you get this message, your installation has been completed, go ahead and hit the OK button. After you click the button, it'll take you back to your list of instances. And in this case, you can see the instance I installed. It was slash PAI2. It even tells you that it's on the system, profound.iinthecloud.com in this case, the version and the actual product, which is Profound AI. So at this point, the installation is complete. Now all we have to do is request the trial license key, and I'll show you how to do that now. 
All right, let's go ahead and apply that key. So I'm gonna go open a new browser tab and you're gonna wanna go to your system, your port that you selected. In this case, the port for me is 8081. And then you're gonna wanna do slash key. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And in this page, in this case, I already have a key, but your key should be empty when you first get to this page. So you're gonna to wanna to click the request trial key button. On this page, you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and type in your name, company, email, and phone number. Then go ahead and click the submit button. And that will actually go ahead and apply your license key. Once your license key is applied, you wanna go ahead and navigate to our IDE. So that's gonna be your server name, your port number, and then slash IDE. Enter. From here, all we need to do to get this running is generate an API key from openai.com and then apply that to our configuration. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to openai.com. And then once you're here, let me just refresh. Once you're here, you wanna to go to your products, API login. If you don't have an account with OpenAI, you wanna go ahead and create that now. In my case, I already have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. When you get to the screen, you wanna make sure we get an API key for the API of OpenAI, not ChatGPT. Once you get here, you wanna go ahead and click on Dashboard, and then API keys down at the bottom left. And you wanna go ahead and click create a new secret key. Once that key is created, you wanna go ahead and copy that and save that off. Just a note, don't try to use this key. I will be deleting this after this video. Now that we have the key, let's go back over to our IDE. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this files tab. What we're gonna do now is go ahead and add our OpenAI key that we created into our profound AI instance. So we're gonna do that by hitting this new button and then going down to other and selecting text file. And what we're gonna do here is create a .env file. For those of you not familiar with Node.js and .env files, it's basically a way to store environment variables and have them persist while the server is up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my API key along with the variable name, which is gonna be openai underscore API underscore key equals, and in quotes, you want the API key that was created earlier on the OpenAI website. I'm gonna go ahead and click Save As, and I'm gonna delete everything here and name it .env. Save. Now what we're gonna do is we're, we have to go ahead and restart the Profound AI server in order for this to take effect. I'm gonna do this on a 5250 screen, so let me drag over my screen where you can see it. And the command to end the server is just end tcp svr server star pjs is, should be written as is. And then the instance should have your instance name. If you remember in our install, I named it PAI2. So that's what I'm gonna put here. 
I'll hit enter and that has ended the server. Now I'm going to F9 and just change this beginning to STR and hit enter to restart it. Now let's go back to the IDE and I am going to refresh the page. Now what we're gonna do is create our first AI agent. So I'm gonna click the new button, AI agent. And because we configured that open AI API key, we automatically built in two models for you, GPT 3.5 turbo and GPT 4.0. I'm gonna go ahead and select G GPT 4.0 since that is the latest state of the art model. And I'm just going to type this in to verify that it is up and running. And as you can see, we actually got a response. So we know that we have the Profound AI product installed. We have successfully configured an OpenAI API key. And we are now chatting with the model GPT-40. This concludes the video for today where we showed you how to install Profound AI on an IBM I system and set the OpenAI API key for use with the chat GPT-40 model. Be sure to check out part two of the Getting Started with Profound AI video series where we will show you how to configure other non-OpenAI models with Profound AI. Thank you for joining. Enjoy your day.